Hello Taurus, welcome to your weekly love quickie. So we're gonna start with the Angel Answer Oracle card. This card either becomes a part of the reading or it answers whatever question you have at the end of the reading. And I'm sorry, one of my dogs wants me to play catch. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> we're gonna take the card that came up face up. So she keeps picking up the ball and dropping it. <laughs> so I apologize for the bouncing ball. Stop. Good girl. <laughs> Your next card, Taurus, is going to come from the Romance Angel Oracle deck. This is gonna, we're going to start with this one. Let's see. Cards for Taurus. Oh my goodness gracious. So we have three cards, which... I don't know. Last week I blew it out of the water and I started accepting these crazy amounts. We have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Taurus. I like it. Wow. I like it. And your angels are looking out for you too. Wait, where's the little angel? Thank <laughs> you. Sorry. I got all discombobulated. From my angle, it almost looks like that's the head to this body, which of course we know that's him, but Sorry, Taurus. Now, this is the romance of a lifetime. You also got let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold, unfold naturally. So this to me means that this could be awesome if you don't over control, micromanage everything, you know, let it flow freely. And I could tell you from my own experience, I'm not always so good with that myself. So I can understand having some problems with that. And the last of the Romance Angel cards that you got were pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Because this came with let go of control issues, I would say that would be a red flag to me. So if you, or, well, this is your reading, unless you're cross watching, you have to watch out for over controlling making things happen only the way you want them to happen, when you want them to happen. It's very hard, especially now, I think there's a lot of impatience. I mean, in general, I mean, I personally, boy, do I, I get that. I, I'm not patient, I'm terrible at patience. But uh, Taurus, I believe this would be you, Queen of Pentacles, Earth sign. Definitely, you've got your money situated, you got your home life situated, you're good there. So to me, to, I mean, to me, it would be like natural progression, you know, you've got your money stuff, maybe you're just too focused on it though. Water sign, queen of cups. So maybe you, wow. You know, I did a, a reading for a friend who is a earth sign also, Taurus, and you have similar cards in that you have a lot of people the Queen of Cups could be a water sign, and this would be your equal. But, but wait a minute, this is the romance of a lifetime because you got the King and the Queen of Cups. But I pay attention to what direction they're looking at. She is in one direction; he's in the other. So this, to me, could speak to a soulmate relationship that you're just out of sync at the moment. But. According to the Wheel of Fortune, things will be turning. And Taurus, you are on this card. You are right here. There's also Leo. So to me, I would have to say that if you pay attention and you allow things to grow the way they're supposed to, and if you notice, the two, the two queens are very focused on their specific um, element. You know, the queen of pentacles is focused on her pe her pentacle, which would be her her physical things in her life, her money, her home, you know, which could even be your body because you live in your body. And then you have your queen of cups and she's focused on this idol thing, but her whole dress to me looks like it's made of water. So then you have the King of Cups. He is emotionally stable, but his toes are just dangling above. So could he get into the thick of things? Yeah, he could, but he's not. He's controlled. And the Wheel of Fortune is about 
things changing and turning in a direction that's been more helpful for you. And I believe that that's possible, but like I said, it all is determined by the control issues and the red flags. Otherwise, this is not the time that it, it, it may take a while before it works out. And I don't normally do this, but whoa, let's see if we can get a card. What would make things change? What, what would help here? Give me a card for what would help Taurus. <laughs> this is what would help you, Taurus. Stop juggling. You need to focus. You're not balanced. And that's what this is showing because he's dancing. He's got two pentacles. They're not even. In the background, you can see the water, how it's rolling. And there's, you know, the ships are really working to, to stay upright. So to me, what would help here is for you to focus and don't have so many balls in the air, as they say. You have to focus on the relationship more. And that's what's going to get you so that this does work out. So, you ready? Your angel answer oracle card is, it's up to you. And that's so funny because here it is. Keep juggling, keep moving around. Your money, your career, your money, your career. Let the emotion upheaval keep going in the background. Or let go of control issues. Stop controlling things. Let it unfold naturally. When you see the red flags, do something about them. Don't just let them go away. Take care of it. And then if you do all that, you can have your true love. So thank you very much for being here, Taurus. I wish you the best. Give me a thumbs up if it resonates or you just enjoy the reading. Thank you. And because I said it to Aries, I'll say it to you. Lots of love. <laughs> Bye.